Alrighty guys, I'm in the shop. I was walking by this trash can right here and I saw this. I went and grabbed my camera, guys. Y'all anybody recognize this? This is a transmission pan off a 8 HP transmission that could be found on a lot of the real wheel drive Stellantis models. Because this one is steel, uh it likely came off a Wrangler. Okay, remember Wranglers are off-road vehicles, so they tend to you don't really want no plastic transmission pan or anything plastic under there on a the Wrangler if you off-roading. Now, I'm going to go over here on my table, my transmission table. We're going to go over, uh, yes, these are replaceable. The filters are replaceable. I got an 8 HP on my table. What I'm going to do is remove the pan off of it. And uh, yeah, let's go on over here. And what we're going to do is compare. A lot of people have been asking me, can you, yeah, here's the transmission right here. Can you put one of these on here? First, we're going to talk about this, but I got to start a long video, okay? I'm already out of time. On this short video so y'all stay tuned for that long video all right guys so let's so let's do this real quick okay it's a long video so i got some time some wiggle room i got some time you see this this is the literature uh reference book that i received when i took this course okay student workbook pertaining to the hp automatic transmission diagnostic and procedure since we're talking about filter let's go uh track down some filter not filter pan information fluid type and pan design Okay, pan design, uh, 14. Let's go over here and see exactly what the hell. Okay, so there is a literature out on the difference of pan. One, like I say, one is steel and one is no one is steel and one is plastic. Hold on, special automatic transmission fluid is required. Yes, guys, make sure you use this if you plan on servicing it. And a unique oil fill procedure must be followed to properly add fluid after transmission service. ATF4 is not compatible with eight-speed transmission. Uh-oh. Let's read this, guys. The eight-speed automatic transmission has a feel-for-life transmission fluid strategy. Oh, boy. The transmission is filled at the factory once and under normal operating condition, it is not necessary to check the fluid level or change the fluid and filter. Okay? Uh, yeah, abide by that at your own discretion. Be aware that there may be a fluid service requirement for service duty application, such as taxis or fleet vehicle, things like that. So if you drive on a, uh, you know, plan A or, you know, if you drive excessive or heavily, basically all of this is out the window. So they do put this little disclaimer at the bottom. Refer to the service information for maintenance schedule. All right, so yeah, Mopar oil leak dye has not been approved. Don't don't put no dye in this stuff, guys. On most models, the fluid filter is an integral part of the oil pan and cannot be replaced separately. The Jeep here it is. The Jeep Wrangler uses a traditional steel pan and filter assembly. However, the filter is fastened to the transmission pan prior to installation, so you can. Uh, you can replace the filter. In fact, I just got one out of the trash. Y'all know what? Let's go talk about it. Let's go check it out and talk about it some more. Alrighty, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this. Uh, let me put some gloves on. We're gonna get this transmission pan off of this transmission because we're trying to compare the two pans. Can, is this pan, this steel pan, compatible with this plastic pan? Okay. Remember what I just read. This is mainly for the Jeep Wranglers, for, just because of off-roading reasons all right let me get this pan off and we're going to compare these two pans and even see if this will fit this transmission let's get it well what y'all think they look alike let's see something one thing I noticed off the bat, there's a gasket on both pans. Ah. It's right on, guys. The boat's lining up. I'm almost certain they are. Let me stay here a couple of Well, well, well. Uh, you can, in fact, uh, change pans, guys. You can, in fact, go to the steel pan uh, for your, let's say, Dodge Charger or your 1500, Ram 1500 or anything like that that use this plastic pan, okay? Now, as far as the filter go, no. 
you can't replace this because like I said it's integrated into this freaking pan so you can't even pry it out so if you need a pan on here you are getting a filter if you need a filter you are getting a pan now that doesn't apply to this one so let's take this one back off and let me show you Ten millimeters. Well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the filter for an 8 HP transmission. Look at that. Now, what was so hard about them doing this? giving us an access bolt right here and right here to make this replaceable you gotta buy the whole pan for, to get a filter on this style pan crazy right yeah engineers so if you want to save money and you plan on trying to extend the life of your transmission I say service it <laughs> alright this is just JT's opinion but if you get this pan you can continue to service in it this way you will only have to drop the pan okay yeah you only have to drop the pan and uh take it take your filter off that way as opposed to because I'm almost certain this is way more expensive than this I'm talking about continued service that is all right so as far as service go I think the corporation or the people that design this transmission ZL they suggest between 50 and 60,000 miles, guys. All right, so draw your own conclusion as to if you want to service your transmission or not. But yeah, I just wanted to go through that experiment with you guys. All right, you can swap pans, you can replace the filter, but only on the steel pan. All right, what am I doing with this? I'm about to uh, tear this apart. This is an old core that the core they don't want the core back. So. I'm gonna go inside of this and I may rebuild it if I can get some parts because I know exactly what's wrong with it if I can get some parts that will repair that exact thing that's wrong with it I can repair this rebuild this all right so we have to see what happened but there you have it man my little experimentation all right I gotta go thanks for watching